You are watching Access LaPorte County Channel 97. Coming up next is the April 17th meeting of the Michigan City Police Civil Service Commission. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Looks like we have a quorum, so I'll call the meeting to order. Commissioner Simmons? Here. Commissioner Krause? Here. And Commissioner Max, you're here. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed? Passed. Um, applicants in the hiring process uh, currently have five, and uh, at this point, I believe that. Uh, Detective Sulfur has, has reached out to them to schedule. Is that true? Is that yet? Okay. okay. Um, yeah. That, so we'll go ahead and schedule them. Uh, we can contact them. Are I you, need you guys to get me the commission questions. Either. Right. Right. Correct. Yeah. That's what I, I have said. To build that. I have to build the questions. Okay. okay. And then how long after that are you? Expect, I mean, we can get them to you today. Yeah, I would probably just need next week to build the thing and then. And then we can schedule them? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk to her after. Okay. Um, those five, the background investigations have been complete, so we're just waiting to do the uh, voice stress analysis on those. Uh, and then they'll move forward from that point. The uh, probationary officer reports, that would be Lieutenant Westfall? Yeah, quite a few actually here, which is a good thing. They'll start with uh, those who get ready to graduate from the academy on May 3rd. Uh, it's be probation officer Christopher Bartek, Gary Francisco, CJ Fusco, Jackson Hayes, Ryan Coons, um, Tom Stolf, and Alexander Henry. Um, we're all set to go. That They're doing really well. The day was May 3rd. May 3rd. Actually, tomorrow is uh, Alexander Henry. He's not May 3rd. He's actually April 19th. Then we have another batch going through. They're all doing well uh, in their appeal program thus far. They're scheduled to attend uh, the academy on April 29th. And those <coughs> are Brandon Drake, Jared uh, Kaselka, uh, Jacqueline Henson, Makeda, Allwood, and Brandon Williams as well as uh, Brian Woodman. Um, they're ready to go April 29th. Uh, so far, so good. Um, continuing here, Officer uh, Antonio uh, Carrion. He's been running as a sole leader. Category. He's uh, progressing nicely. Uh, Officer Koopa is uh, currently in phase three. Um, and she's scheduled with the academy uh, at Nylea in August of, August of this year. Um, I'm sure we have one more. That's going April 29th. The captain has Michael Schubel. Um, probation officer Richard Sturt is one of our lateral transfers. He's been operating as a sole agent from uh, midnight since the end of February. And our most recent lateral transfer hire is uh, Robert uh, Darmonic, and he is uh, currently in phase one with Officer McDaniel on shift two. He's doing very well. Also. So we've been busy. There things we have here. There's lots of, lots of movement that everybody's doing, we need to be doing. That's a good thing. So. I don't believe any more, any new correspondences. Uh, are there any claims to be paid, Commissioner Sun? No. Okay. Uh, Chief Corley is out this week for uh, some training, so. Chief uh, Forker first. Yeah. Okay. Talk first. Oh, well, we might as well probably we'll take a moment here to uh, recognize uh, one of our veterans. 
on the department, if you're so well. Dr. Chambers has just given us 20 years, so we just have a little something prepared for him. Yes, sir, come on up. Right in the front and side in the middle. Detective Shane Washlewski, congratulations on your achievement as you celebrate the significant anniversary of your appointment with the Michigan City Police Department as of Friday, April 12, 2024. Clearly reaching this milestone is a very special occasion. It is also a very special occasion for our department since it is a testimony to your dedication to the Michigan City Police Department over the years. Um, you are a valued leader as your continued contributions are vital to this department for continuing to be successful in meeting our mission, vision, and values. All of our organizational achievements are made possible because of your individual efforts as an officer and detective, having been given dozens of letters of commendation your file was impressive, by the way. Several officers of the month award, and you were nominated for Officer of the Year in 2022. In appreciation for your years of service, we'd like to present you with a 20 uh, years of service pin. Again, thank you for your hard work and much dedication. We look forward to your ongoing contributions and bright and successful future together. Photo time, maybe? Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir, again. Um, congratulations to, obviously, uh, Detective Blush, who's been, uh, again, 20 years is a huge miles. For all of us, we know that, you know, uh, here in the department. Uh, again, the letter was just a synopsis of his career, but he's done a lot of great things, you know, whether it's on patrol, traffic, the bureau, SWAT, firearms. Uh, he's had his hands in a multitude of things throughout his career, and uh, has obviously made this department a better place because of uh, uh, his skill set. So I you know, just want to tell him congratulations. Um, just, again, we are touched on the base uh, a little bit, but the rest of we have seven uh, after, probationary officers getting ready to graduate uh, the police academy here in the next uh, upcoming two weeks so we're excited to get them back and get them on patrol to finish up their field training uh, so we can have an effective manpower by uh, the summertime um, again I don't know what else I didn't really have a whole lot to let you go he was out of the office this week get some training so look forward to getting him back this week he's uh, attending uh, chief school of state mandated uh, Chief school this week for himself, so he's great gaining a wealth of knowledge while he's down in, uh, in Plainfield. Uh, so, again, I don't really have much else. I'm sure I'm forgetting something that we're supposed to talk about. But that's why we sent Chief Cooney last because he cleans it all up for us. Uh, David Cooney, Chief Services. Uh, the March uh, crime statistics um, we had 3,071 calls for service. 389 case reports were taken, there were 197 arrests, 172 were adult and 26 juvenile. We had 36 calls for service, four shots fired, uh, nine seized firearms were collected. Speeding citations, we had 64 warnings for speed, 17 citations for 81 total. Um, <clears throat> Uh, warrant arrest, we had 159 warrants were issued. Again, those are from investigations from the patrol and the detective bureau. Uh, 121 of those warrants were served and 34 were recalled by courts. Uh, six extraditions were completed as well, uh, going as far as uh, Alabama or Arkansas, I believe, uh, to bring people back to Port County. Uh, we do have the uh, warrants vehicle that was allowed to be purchased by the council last year and the administration uh, that is functioning, working well for our warrants division. And again, that aids with doing some of these extraditions, whether it's the local jails or farther away. So, uh, that was purchased through the DEA funds. Um, again, that is 
collaboration with our drug unit as well, or even the detective bureau doing excellent investigations. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Officer Curry and Stirk. I believe they're released off probation, so they are uh, good to go here uh, with the Michigan City Police Department. I want to congratulate them. Uh, the solar eclipse last Monday, um, obviously the, we had pre-planned for a lot of officers and, and detectives and everybody to be working as it was, but then we did have that uh, major investigation. I think everyone involved did a fantastic job um, clearing that case up. We had officers who located the suspect quickly. Uh, the detective bureau came out process the scene, lead the investigation. It's a great team effort uh, between everybody involved. They did a fantastic job. Uh, for We'd like to request for the next commission meeting maybe a very large meeting. Um, we went through at the commander's meeting last night of the awards from the uh, case on Kentucky Street where the officers were being fired upon. Uh, there will be a lot of exceptional service stars and letters of commendation to present. Um, so we may have to do a different venue than here. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Uh, there may be some additional letters and accommodations and such for other cases as well. Uh, Commissioner Collins, what do you know? I have no comments at this time. Bruce? No, just congratulations to Shane, 20 years. I'm sure you'll be here another 10 or 15. I uh, can book, probably put that in a book, right? 35 years before you retire, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, congratulations to all the officers on the department for their work. Like I said, on Kentucky Street in this last, uh, I guess, homicide. So always nice to for those folks to get it cleared up and tie up the loose ends, so to speak. But good job, and uh, look forward to seeing all the awards for next month for that hard work. I'd like to say congratulations to Shane too and, and I hope you don't leave too early I'm being sincere about this because this is a very young department and somebody like you with your experience and your knowledge and you're invaluable right now but we, we don't need to lose somebody like you right now but there is life outside here by the way <laughs> but stay they need you uh, and congratulations to oh, everybody sitting in the back the bureau because you guys do an outstanding job <clears throat> clearing things up and and this community needs that they don't need any unsolved homicides they don't need any uh unsolved crime uh, crime rings running around especially now and you guys too are, are very uh, helpful in training some of these new officers as you know because uh they can only learn so much in the FTO program. They can only learn so much in, in the academy and, and everything else they have to rely on is, is given to them by, by people like you and people with experience. So thank you. Um, is there any public comments, comments from the audience today? Okay. So our next meeting will be uh, Wednesday, May the 8th, if we can see about maybe booking the council chambers that day. If that'd be possible, um, but we'll put out a notice of where it's going to be that day. Okay. All right. Meetings adjourned.